In this video, I'm going to show you how to count the number of rotations that a sorted array has been through. So, um, yeah, we're assuming that the array is sorted in ascending order, and um, that is being uh, rotated a number of times. Here I've illustrated the different number of rotations uh, we can do on the array. Uh, the first instance here, we're moving the last element sixth to the beginning, so that's one rotation. Uh, in the second, we're actually moving two elements to the beginning, six and then five, then four, five, and six, then oops, uh, three, four, five, and six, and so on. So, um, what we want to do is that is to notice that the number of rotations is going to be given by the position in which the minimum element is located. So um, the minimum element here is zero. So in the first instance here, we have that um, zero is in the first position of the array and therefore it's been rotated once. Here's in the second, so it's rotated twice. Here's in the third, so it's been rotated three times, and so on. So the minimum element always gives us the number of rotations. Now, the other property we want to look at, given a midpoint, uh, we will need to know which way we need to go in order to find the minimum element and for that we need to know which part of the array has not been sorted. So one way we can tell this is by looking at the last element. At the, if the last element is um, smaller than the middle then we know that the pivot point is going to be on the right side. So all of these cases right here are an illustration of that. Here we have that the middle is actually greater than the value at the end. And when the middle is actually greater, I mean uh, no, no, no. Hold on. When the middle is smaller than the highest element, then we're actually going to go to the left side, where the array is not going to be sorted, and that's where the pivot point is going to be.